I took a chance on a relationship was about, thank you, two years ago. And uh, we had known each other for at least 20 years. And about five, six months in, he decided to tell me that he wanted to practice the polyamorous lifestyle. And I know he might see this and I don't care. But, um, but it, it was after he had already traveled and dibbled and dabbled and fell off into something anyway. Um, I found out about that as well. Um, <laughs> but, um, taking a chance for me, I feel like it's just, despite what I've been through in relationships, I'm still willing to look at you and say, okay, he's not the same that all men aren't the same. And I know it sucks to hear that when women say y'all the same, fuck y'all, you know, whatever, but all men aren't the same. I have awesome men in my family. I just need to find one that's not in my family. (laughs) That's it. I want the old school stuff. I don't, I don't practice this new. Look, obviously that man knew how to spot a bird a mile away and he knew that she wasn't wifey material. So he was like, I may as well have fun with it. And I know she's going to get down. Any woman who get down in that type of activity is not a woman with much value. Let's be real. If you come across a valuable woman who got options who all the men want, she's going to know her value. And women are very selfish when they are truly into a man. But when a woman is open to things like this, that's a woman who is not sexually disciplined. She don't know how to control her sexual nature and she's probably broken. And most you could do is play those type of games with women like that. But women like this can't be saved, fellas. Like when a woman is that big age and is still a bird, like you can't do nothing with her. besides have fun it's crazy what's the importance of morals and principles to you guys and if so what are you willing to stand on and what are you willing to like let's slide it's amongst relationship friendships etc cetera, etc cetera. for it's me very, it's important yeah. especially because i'm a mother i have daughters bro. i have to hold myself i have to hold myself to a certain standard so that they follow and when it comes on to men i only like men that have respect for themselves no no man that's fuck out because men be fuck outs what does that niggas, mean? What, yeah, men, be, men be men be nasty just, just i don't like men i would never take a man serious that be fucking mad bitches like i would never take a nigga serious like C-A-P Crap <laughs> Nigga, why the fuck you laughing? I can't laugh, bro Any nigga I fucked with that I took serious has Don't have that many bodies They don't be fucking out nobody Fucking out And niggas be fuck out And bitches know what I mean when I say that Niggas be fuck out They balls be dangling Yo, this is crazy This chick just said She have daughters so she have to hold herself to certain standards. But she's on a podcast every day talking about how many different men she ran through. And you want your daughter to follow in those footsteps? That's crazy, bro. Fellas, it's like I tell you dudes, fam. If a woman is on a podcast, she is a bird, bro. Only birds got time to sit around and talk about how many different men they done been with, they talking about their experiences with men. Feminine women don't carry themselves like that. They carry themselves with class. They are not gonna sit down and tell the world about how many different dudes they done been with, especially if they got daughters, because your daughter's gonna see this one day and they gonna think that's cool. Fellas, <laughs> choose wisely when it comes to selecting a woman to have kids with. Where you calling me from, Vero? The Bronx, New York. Bronx. <laughs> so we got Vero, Bronx, New York, 38 Aquarius, mental health therapist, mom of two kids, by the same man, never married. Okay, what are your deal breakers? Smokers, no smokers, no cheap men. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like nice stuff. I, I do well for myself and I get myself nice stuff. So if you're cheap, don't, just don't do it. <laughs> Um, liars, cheaters, like the regular stuff. People that don't, that don't treat their family well. People that are selfish and, um, let me see. And people that's like self-centered. That's all.
So what's cheap to you? Cheap is going to Applebee's. <laughs> cheap is going to Applebee's. Like, I don't do chain restaurants. Like, I, it's just, I like restaurants that doesn't, you don't, you never heard of the name. Or if you did heard of the name, it's like, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. yeah. so if a guy wanted to take you on a date to Applebee's, you would say no? No. What is that? I don't even, even take my kids to Applebee's. <laughs> okay, you know, there, there was this whole conversation about the Cheesecake Factory. Could he bring you to the Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> he, he didn't get me a piece of cheesecake to go for the doggy bag, but not to take okay. me there, no. Okay, so what kind of restaurant should the man be willing to take you that you will accept? Um, like five-star restaurants, like, like stuff that you just never heard about, no chain restaurants. So this five is the stars. first date? Yes. Like, I went on a date um before, and the guy, he took me to a Brazilian restaurant. Where? So, well, where? Yeah. With that guy, why don't you just close the deal? That was a, a while ago. That was a long time ago. He wasn't. That was our first date. And that was nice. The second date was nice, but then he wasn't my third date. He, I was just little. He wasn't my. I wasn't. Is he the only guy that's ever done that, or this is what you get all the time? Sometimes, not all the time. Okay, but now, but it's now it's the requirement. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, child, so no chain <laughs> restaurant. So she said Applebee's. I said. Um, she Red Lobster, Where? Applebee's, Longhorn. I said Red Lobster, Applebee's, Longhorn Steakhouse. No. <laughs> no. So five-star restaurants are the requirement. First date. Yeah. Oh. If I can take myself there, they should take me there too. <laughs> okay. Let's, girl, you know you're going to be a highlight. And you know. <laughs> you know they're about to come for you. So I want you to prepare. They can all come. I got all my money to back it up. <laughs> Be ready to back it up. Now, we already know the guy has to bring you to a five-star restaurant. First date, no chain restaurant. Should he make a certain amount of money? As long as he's able to take care of himself and his responsibilities and not ask me for no money. <laughs> and afford a five-star restaurant. And yes. afford yes. literally at least a $200 first date bare minimum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do the Kendrick again. We got to see your full body, baby girl. Okay, let's see. Let's see you, girl. Five star. Don't play with it. Five star restaurants only. Don't nobody but broke niggas and motherfuckers who got out of jail want a fat bitch. <laughs> Yo, this right here is scary, bro. The fact that a woman could be this delusional. She wakes up every day like this. Her delusion is just unnecessary, fam. It's like, how? <laughs> Nobody is taking you to a five-star restaurant for what? You're used to nothing but car dates. She's used to, yo, come straight to the crib. Yo, come to the cr Like, that's the most... A man is going to do with her. But I don't know, fam. But you got to respect her confidence, fam. It's like, it's unbelievable. But only if she applied that confidence in the right place. That's crazy, right? It's like a woman will rather live in delusion, heavy, rather than live in reality and fix herself. No disrespect. No disrespect, bro. But she want a man to take her to a five-star restaurant looking like this. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. And what's even more crazy, she said it with a straight face. Fellas, be careful out here, man, because these women, delusion is on a different level, bro. Like, is she serious, bro? Fellas, be safe out here, man, for real. Before you guys leave, let me just say thanks to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the SDC fam. And if you guys appreciated the content, go ahead and show some love right now and like and subscribe. Do so for your boy right now. Go ahead.
if you haven't yet go get you some of that merch you all already know don't feed the birds that's what it is we don't feed the birds over here so if you rock with your boy go get you some of that good merch